In this video, I'm going to be going over how we can create a building and place it into our lot here as a specific uh, house ties. So let's start off, we're going to start by creating the building. So we're going to MS Tools and let's just open our building structure library. So right now we don't have any buildings in here, but we can create a new one. And here we have two options to either create it manually by entering distances and bearings or by creating it just by selecting line work. In this case, we're going to create it manually. You can enter a name for your building. In this case, it's going to be L shape and press OK. And here it's going to open up a new drawing called L shape and start and give us a slow instructions on how it's going to work. So we're going to be starting from the front right corner here and working our way around clockwise. So let's press OK. And here you can start entering the units. So we're going to be working in meters and our first segment is going to be a line. So now our first segment is 35 meters to the left. Press that and then press next. Notice in the background where it drew that line. So now we need to do another one. In this case, we're always going to be working with lines, so we're always just going to come back and select line instead of curve. So now we're going up, and we're going a distance of 20 meters. Press next, and select line again, right, and 15 meters. Again, line going up. This one's going to be 20 meters. Next. Of course, if you wanted to, you can add curves, but in this case, we're not going to. This is just a simple L-shaped building. It's next there. So now, if you, just to the side, you can see in the background where I have my building, where it's starting on the bottom right, and it went all the way around. Now we just want to close it, but instead of uh, entering in that last segment, we can just click on Close. And then it'll give a little report, and it's showing the closure error of uh, zero. It's because we just drew it all perfectly here, so there wouldn't be any errors. So we can say yes. Now it's asking for the front. What's the front of this uh, building? In this case, the front was down here, so we're just going to select the front, the red part, which is the front. Select it, press Enter, or right click. Do the same thing for the right, and for the left. Of course, you can also just window in all the segments and then press enter or right click. Finally, the back. So now that we have our whole lot in here, we can click finish. And that will bring us back to our original drawing. So if we open up that library again, you can see that the L shape is in here and it has the, the dimensions that we worked with. So now we want to place this into our lot. So we're going to click this drop down and select place building or structure. This data menu will come up here, and it's going to prompt you what building to select. Right now we only have the L shape because it's only in there, and only lot 1 because it's the only lot I have. And you can also give a referencing to your building. In this case I'm going to call it H1. This is more in the case where you're entering several uh, L shaped buildings into your lots, and you want to just reference each one. You can ask to specify what point numbers to start with. I'm going to do 301. And what elevation? I'm going to start with 100. Now it's all flat, so all the points will have uh, 100 elevation. Select the insert building. And now it'll give you a live update of the ties to your lot. Notice how it's also tied to the front, left, right, and back of your lot. And this is just to get a rough position of where you want the house. So in this case, I want it roughly there. And now a new menu will show up to give it so that you can do your fine tuning. Here on the bottom you can rotate it, either to the right or to the left, and the 5 or 15 times is just to rotate it by higher margins. So I can rotate it like that. And now the fine tuning. The, the larger arrows here will be the course distance, and the smaller arrows will be the fine distance. This can be in the case where, let's say, I want the front edge to be 100, so I'm just going to move the front until I hit 100. I'm just looking at this number down here. And now I need to move also forward 79 mils. So right now the fine distance is working at uh, 
10 centimeters at a time. I'm going to switch that to 1 centimeter. And I can click the down arrow here. And notice how my numbers are going down every time I select the down arrow. So now I've got it down to 9 mils. I can change my fine distance to a millimeter and just fine tune it all the way down so it's 100 meters perfectly. If I'm satisfied of where the building is, I can click Place Building. And I will draw my building in here, as well as store all the points around it. So if I look at my drawing here, just increase this here, you can see how it stored points 301, 306. So I'm just going to do a rescale. And now it's updated everything in my point database. And now you can see the IP end for my points. So that is how you place a building inside a lot with MicroSurveyCat.